Good evening. <clears throat> it's Joshua Taylor, Donald E. Taylor, coming to you from here in Boston Bar, British Columbia. Just drew this up. This is the uh, simplest version of the Ark Ship community. I'm just going to sit down here. Just drew this up. And just trying to find the best way to present this. Okay. So, what you have here is three and a third acres, <clears throat> approximate. So, from the center point here, of this, this is where you actually come in to go to your, to your respective stations. From here to this point is 90 feet. So, it's 90 feet see if you want to calculate this particular hexagonal arrangement be 90 times 90 times 3 and that gives you the the area and if you want to calculate the entire area you'd multiply uh, you'd have one hexagonal two three and you got three star points three star points so to be four of these right equal to four of these so 3.3 acres divide by four and that gives you one of these arc ship communities so you uh, <clears throat> actually what you have you have three one two three very simple very simple i'm kind of tired here and the biggest thing about making these isometric geometric layouts is <clears throat> people access and roads access so this is your community center this is 1728 square feet your hub connectors are 768 square feet so this would be 16 feet across and this is 24 feet across these could be just a platform with it with a yurt you know if you really wanted to get uh, make it lightweight but I'd probably go to a at least a solid center and maybe a yurt design here and uh, so you'd come in here go around this little traffic circle and go out if you come in do your thing and go out so you got three of these so you have access for vehicles so these here you know, just utilize the space these here are your gardens 768 square feet that's about as big as I could make it without getting too congested so on the arc ships themselves uh, this is 8 by 16 8 by 16 with a 6 by 8 foot connector but you could go to a 10 wide from an 8 wide to a 10 wide or even a 12 wide which would give you uh, more space for the long term because this is you know, you know, fairly highly condensed in each one of these arc ship trains. You have six people, right? So this is where you would eat, like an RV, your cook, your kitchen, your dining. And this way would be your sleeping quarters where you, where you would have four uh, foldable bunks with the uh, master bedroom in the front. So we're talking emergency situation here. So you're not going to have your own space you're gonna to have to learn to share okay and so what I've added to these I've added a porch onto the hub connectors and onto the community centers I added uh, three uh, like semi open decks where you could stand outside and, and uh, still be covered in from the rain so this is very 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 basic and then this is your your data so all together you have 30 arc ships that would accommodate 15 families all together each arc ship is equivalent to about 300 square feet that's on the eight foot wide so you have about 9,000 square feet of living area you know on, on, on the community hubs each one is uh, 768 square feet uh, times three so that's about 
2,300 square feet. And your community center here, in the center, has 1,728 square feet. And uh, your gardens, if you add up all 12 gardens, it gives you 9,200 square feet, and plus your two roundabouts. So this is about as basic as you can get. Your roundabouts, this could be your, your utility stations, water towers, whatever you want to put in. You have to remember, this is a temporary portable Goshen cap, right? <coughs> Where you could <coughs> set this up if you got a three acre plot. Now overall, if you want to turn this into a larger community, this would be considered to be a star point, a star point. And, and so if you had your, if this is your hexagonal here, you would have six points coming off like, like, like you do right there, right? So you could actually have six communities and six star points. And the center would be your, your building arrangement. And that would take all together about 80 acres. But you would have, uh, you know, if you got, <clears throat> you can say your, your volunteer staff here, you would have four volunteer staff in each one of these, so that'd be 20, 20, 20, and 60. And you take 60, you multiply that by uh, 6, so that'll give you 350 people for volunteer labor. If you put this together into a bigger arrangement. And uh, I could draw this up later. So I just made the most simplest uh, version of what it would look, look like to make these arc, <coughs> arc ship communities, right? Very easy to lay out. <clears throat> you know, like every uh, design is different. These, 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 these could be for RVs too. And uh, so RVs would actually... You could actually put RVs in a, in a similar arrangement, or you could have a, a combination of, of arc ships and, and RVs in this. But this is something that could be built in quick time because you only have the arc ship design and, and the front model and the back model. It's identical except for the living arrangements, right? Uh, like the shell and all that, and the base is, is, is the same. So you got your arc ships here, and they're connected. And this is supported between the two arc ships. This is where you, where you'd have your stove, and maybe steps going out to one side, right? And that would be connected with another connector or a hallway that would connect into your your community hub. And uh, but overall, you know, it's a very simple design, and this could be built very quick. Because you just got your arc ships, you got your hub centers, and you got your community uh, center here. So, if you're going to make this into a yurt, you could actually use the relocation platforms. You would use the large version platforms that are 8 feet across or 48 square foot surface area. And you could put up your, you know, this would all, all go together in, in a in a day so if you're setting up land you, you do your survey right and you put up your this would be the first building that you would put up then you put up this one this one and this one you mark out your gardens right and you, you put in your roadways very minimal roadways and then you would bring in your arc ship designs and hook up and you're you're ready so all together, you know, people-wise, you have 15 families, 15 times 6. And that's, that'd be full capacity. Now, if by chance uh, you, you got an influx of people where you need to be able to put up, say, if 100 people come in, how do you deal with that? Well, you could actually take your gardens, and these gardens could be just a re relocation platform with the art community, not with the art community, with the, uh, a custom-made uh, yurt on top. And that would handle, each one would ha handle a family. 
So you'd have 12 of these, 12 times 6. You'd be able to handle that many more people that would come in. And uh, just going to leave it here. I need to get some sleep. i got a big day tomorrow. Managed to get my, uh, my 22 2x6x16 six by foot for $125. It's called lumber, but it'd be good enough to build my 12x12 12 12, uh, floor for my porch. And I asked the Lord for it for a couple of days. And what happened, actually, uh, uh, <clears throat> I was going to buy a, a lumber called pile of uh, 1x6 and so they put, they set it aside on Sunday and someone snagged it. And uh, so the guy gave me a deal. I was actually able to get a uh, 2 by 6 by 16 foot for $3.50 a piece. And that's that's pretty good buy. And, and the lumber's doable. I, I'm able to make something out of that. Okay, going to sign off here and get this out. So this is the first rough draft of the Archship Designs. Uh, Sister Mary, this is for you and others out there. And I would like to hear your feedback on this. This is Donald Taylor, Joshua, coming to you from here in Boston Bar, British Columbia.